So every now and then, we like to bring you stories about people and places that stand out. And today we're putting Thomas Edison High School in Queens on your radar because it is doing some pretty special things there. All right, Crystal Young got a chance to meet the school's principal and some of the students. They're shaping the future of some real winners. <laughs> All right, Crystal. You got it. Well, during my visit to Thomas Edison High School, I found many things. I found a principal who clearly cares about his kids and wants them to succeed. I found teachers that are more like confidants and friends, but they connect with these students. And then I found students that are driven and focus. So I would say it's win-win, but really it's win-win-win. A lot of winning going on at this school. Take a look. Problem solving, teamwork, leadership, just a few of the life skills being taught at Thomas Edison High in Queens. Serious young minds prepping for the real world. Thomas Edison High School is as unique as its interesting curved hallways. Built in 1958 for 65 years, it's been preparing students for college and careers. The curved architecture of the building has always stood out, just like its students. You could say circles are a theme at Edison. Moses Ojeda graduated in 1993. In a full circle move, he's now back as principal. Originally at Edison to study machine repair, he was inspired to be an educator by one of his favorite teachers, Alexander Bell. I wanted to be like him. I wanted to pay it forward. Mm -hmm. He used me to be a foreman at that time. And so I basically would work with the students, my peers, and get them ready before he came to test them. Mm -hmm. And so in that process, I found the love of teaching. In 14 years, Ojeda went from teacher to principal, making critical changes along the way. Principal Ojeda has really done an amazing job of making sure that students have a well-rounded school experience. At Edison, students immerse themselves in 12 innovative programs, focusing on everything from electrical installation to computer repair. Sadi Aria is a soft-spoken go-getter who's heading to John Jay in the fall. She credits Edison with giving her the tools to build a successful career. As an adult, you're always going to make mistakes, even right now, but it's important to take those uh, risks in order to make actual change. So I've become more confident confident in doing that and I will be taking that skill. But Principal Ojeda says he's most proud of one thing. The fact that it feels like family. Mm -hmm. I, I really feel like when you come to this place, kids feel like they belong. We create teachers also. So when you look at our CT department that's comprised of 20 plus teachers, 18 of them are former graduates of Edison. Part of the family, Danielle Ragavones, who teaches design thinking, how to identify a problem, come up with a solution, then test and implement it. It's a lesson her students took to heart. I actually use a glow force to cut this out of a piece of draft board, and then when we're up here, we do play ping pong. The school has a digital communications program. Students take videos and photos. Some are even used to enhance lesson plans. Philip Baker has taught here for 15 years. As a design leader, one of his favorite programs is Shop in a Box. It's a partnership with the Africa America Institute. In this room, our students designed um, and then built a solar panel. They filmed the entire process and then they broke it down, put all the parts into a box, and they sent it to Africa. And it worked. I couldn't leave without checking out one of Edison's newest and most edgy problem-solving areas, the escape room. Mr. Ojeda, right? Yeah. This is his uh, typewriter, oh. and this is used as a prop. However, there is a puzzle piece right under here. <laughs> Working as mentors, Edison students collaborated with elementary school kids to bring it to life. I tried the one puzzle no one else has mastered yet. By the way, this is all thought, design, even like the, the, the complexity of the puzzle by a fifth grader. What does that mean? Use the ring to release the light. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, this should be a new segment called Are You Smarter Than a What? Fifth, fifth grader. grader! Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> I don't think I am. <laughs>
With Moses Ojeda at the helm, students are soaring. And that includes his 15-year-old daughter, Alessandra, who wanted a great robotics program and soccer team and found both at Edison. There is no substitute for hard work. It's a famous Thomas Edison quote, a memo these students clearly already got. Around here, the leaders of tomorrow preparing today. So the next time you're wondering what our future looks like, stop by Thomas Edison High School and you'll see it in action. So impressed by the principal, the teachers, the students, everyone at that school. I mean, they are just focused and going places. You know, I have to tell you, a few years ago, I was on the train and I saw an uh, ad for the New York City Teaching Fellows, and it said, you remember your first grade teacher, who will remember you? And I was really struck by that. It just shows the importance of having those educators in your life that really see you. And there's a lot of them there at Edison. Very, very cool school. Oh, I'm so happy there. I love to hear schools that are working yeah. and making a difference. I know. They are. That they really are. just hit me. She goes, you remember your first grade teacher? I was like, oh, the one that failed me? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to redo first grade. Okay. But those you kids are in okay. a much better situation than me. Much smarter. You, you did okay. Sweet. You may that. have needed to repeat it. A few oh, times. interesting. <laughs> right? You never know. They do something you didn't know. <laughs> no, great things at that school. That is true, Gristle. Love it. Thanks so much. You're welcome.